Hello guys, this is Street Service TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotion guys, I would like to shout out the following person on our channel. Nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotion natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Heart Billieta, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Arya Apur, Buon Anthony Valmoria, Leo Bacoteco, Devs Bilia, Molik Salamada, Heart Ponsalan, Midnight Chen Always Online, Psyche Carion, Yans TV, Michael Aborita, and Gabriela Mampalang. Shout out na rin sa mga hindi nakisabay manood sa premiere pero still napunta pa rin dito para manood makinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. Guys, what will you do tomorrow? Especially na it's holiday, no? For me, uh, dito lang sa bahay, maglalaba the week household chores, no? At least, may break tayo in uh, a midweek, no? Uh, kaya, sulitin natin makipag-spend time sa pamilya natin. Our guests, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Malachi chapter 1, verse 8 to 14. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional sa Bible because the words used here, is a simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. What I'm reading is about blemished sacrifices. Okay. So, the word of the Lord in Malachi chapter 1, verse 8 to 14 uh, says, When you bring blind animals for sacrifice, is that not wrong? When you sacrifice crippled or diseased animals, is that not wrong? Try offering them to the governor. Would he be pleased with with you? Would he accept you? Says the Lord Almighty. Now implore God to be gracious to us with such offering from the hands. Will be will he accept you? Says the Lord Almighty. Oh, that one of you would shut the temple doors so that you would not light useless fires on my altar. I am not pleased with you says the Lord Almighty, and I will accept an offering from your hands. My name will be great among the nations, from the rising to the sitting of the sun. In every place, incense and pure offerings will be brought to my name, because my name will be great among nations, says the Lord Almighty. But you profane it by saying to, saying of the Lord's table, it is Depart, and of its food, it is contemptible. And you say, "What a burden!" And you sniff at it contemptuously. Says the Lord Almighty, when you bring injured, crippled, and deceased animals and offers them as sacrifices, should I accept them from your hands? Says the Lord, curse is the cheat. Who has an acceptable meal in his flock and vows to give it, but then sacrifices a blameless animal to the Lord, for I am a great king, says the Lord Almighty, and my name is to be feared among nations. Amen and amen. I guess let's now pray. Yes, Father God, you really spewed out what is not acceptable unto you. Yung mga offering namin na hindi kaya aya is rejected by you, O Lord God. Yes, many times, Lord, they offer wrong things to you, O Lord God, even ourselves, despite the thing we have done. But thank you that uh, you are going to forgive us again and accept us, offering ourselves as an offering to you, O God, a living sacrifice, O Lord. Lord, lead us na magiging toto kami sa iyo, despite the sins we have done unto you. Accept ourselves as an open offering for you, O God. Yes, Lord, you commit all these sins to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, so our focus verse for this evening is found in Malachi 3.3. And it says, He will purify 
and refine them like gold and silver. Then the Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness. So the title ready devotion for this evening, guys, is Giving Our Best. We stayed at the piles of donated shoes as we entered a local homeless shelter. The director had invited our youth group to help sort through the heaps of used footwear. We spent the morning searching for matchless and lining them up in rows across the concrete floor. At the end of the day, we threw away more than half of the shoes because they were too damaged for others to use. Though the shelter couldn't stop people from giving poor quality items, they refused to distribute shoes that were in bad condition. The Israelites struggled, struggled with giving God their damaged goods too. When he spoke to the prophet Malachi, he rebuked the Israelites for sacrificing blind, lame, or deceased animals when they had strong animals to offer. He announced his displeasure, affirmed his worthless, and reprimanded the Israelites for keeping the best for themselves. But God also promised to send the Messiah, whose love and grace would transform their hearts and ignite their desires to bring offering that would be pleasing to him. At times, it can be tempting to give God our leftovers. We praise Him and expect Him to give us His all, yet we offer Him our crumbs. When we consider all God has done, we can rejoice in celebrating, in celebrating His worthiness and giving Him our best. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, no? Tao lang talaga na kung ano yung sobra, yun yung binibigay natin no? sa iba at sa kind word. Maski siguro sa oras natin, no? sa devotional, kung kailan tayo may problema, sa pa tayo pupunta kay Lord. No? Uh, siguro ganyan talaga ang tao. No? Kung ano lang yung available, yun lang, ibigay natin. No? But, that kind of life is very dangerous, guys. No, dapat, yung ibigay natin kay Lord is yung pinaka-best talaga. No? Giving our best to the Master. Kaya yun yung title ng ano natin, ng devotional natin. Ako, I'm also guilty. Kasi, minsan, if I travel, no? Parang sabi ko, Lord, parang it's not good na yung extra time ko lang talaga. Mas maganda talaga, guys, if you are going to make a time with God. Excited to listen to God. Aside from the devotional na ginagawa natin dito, guys, this is a time na ginawa natin. We have, a set, we have set a date, not to the person, but with God. No? May fellowship tayo na nabuo uh, every 8 o'clock. Kaya I really praise God na andito kayo because you set your time with God and with me. No? And the possibility is setting our time with God. Hindi yung extra-extra lang. <laughs> Dapat pag nandito tayo sa devotional, no, from the beginning to end talaga. Huwag tayong aalis na wala yung prayer kasi. Di ba? Sa church, andun yung benediction, yung final prayer para complete yung blessing na matanggap natin. Even if we ano, we give offering. No? If we're going to look at the offering, ano, yung bag, Ang kadalasan laman doon is napakaraming 5 pesos, uh, isang, uh, yung piso, yung 10 pesos, yung 20 pesos, at napakaraming talaga ang 20 pesos doon na papil. <laughs> Kaya nga natawa ako, sabi ko, wow, gabi naman to yung offering bag, 20 pesos na napakarami. Uh, well, if you are going to go to yung mga sabungan, yung mga <laughs> kasino, napakalaking pera lumalabas. But, if we give God the best, then God would also give us the best. I guess let's now proceed to the two question. Why are you sometimes tempted to give God your leftovers or dummies goods? Oh, lalo lalo na sa tights, no? Kasi, Lord, malaki na kasi. Oh, ah, si Lord, nakakaintindi naman. Oh, yes, God can understand. But if you're going to give it immediately, nakita ni Lord yung heart mo na ganun kakaatat para sa kanya. And that for sure, God will surely bless you. No? 
Kasi you already separated your your 10%. What belongs to God and God will surely bless you. <laughs> if you cannot give to the church, give it here sa ano, Riz TV para magamit natin yan for God's greater glory, for God's kingdom. Second question, in what ways will you give Him your best today? Ito, no? Yung pag-devotional, reading the Bible, prayer. Guys, I'm so excited every time I pray because I'm talking to the best person who loves me most. Our family sometimes would not love us, no? But there is a one person who loves us so much, and that is God. I guess, let's now pray. Mighty God, please help us place you first and give you our best. Thank you, Jesus. This us to give the best unto you. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, give up your best to the master. Guys, sana na bless tayo. Gali mo punta rito manood makinig at i-apply natin yung mga natutunan natin no? para hindi naman masaya yung pag-devotional uh, natin. I'm really praying for you guys. God bless us all because, you know, God shall bless us 10 times better. This again with Service TV. Kita-kita tayo mula tayo sa muli. Paalam!